Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports uh, for a bit of a Springbok update. Yesterday, Rusty Rasmus addressed the media and spoke on a number of different things. And uh, one of the most exciting parts of uh, the press conference was when he was asked about Sasha Fahmikov and Zulu and uh, how impressed he's been with him as a player and also as a person. And uh, a very interesting update and uh, a part from Rusty Rasmus where he basically confirmed that Sasha Fahmikov-Mazulu is definitely in the running to be a potential Springbok captain in the future. Something that I think most South Africans are kind of very aware to the fact um, that that he will one day captain the Springboks, if not permanently, at some stage in his career. And uh, Rassi Rasmus, first of all, we know he's a massive fan of Sasha Fahmikov-Mazulu and also confirming that not just from a playing perspective, but uh, as a leader, as a person, he's going to be a very important part of the Springboks moving forward. Before we get into exactly what Rusty Rasmus had to say as to also when this might happen, please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Uh, so yesterday he was asked about uh, Sash Farming Gomazulu and uh, he spoke about um, how he's managed to get to know him. And uh, he talked about the SAA tours when we went over and uh, lost to Munster and Bristol. And uh, he said uh, the following. He said, sometimes one underestimates those SAA tours and just look at the results. For a team just to get together on those SAA tours, um, although they lost against Munster and Bristol, getting these guys under certain pressure with new coaches, you get to know the players. Now, remember, that Sash Farmer Gomazulu actually got called into the Springbok squad at the time during that during that sort of overseas tours. Uh, he then said he trained with us at the Springboks with a full on contact session, and you could see the character of the guy. Obviously, we know him from our systems and our junior programs. Here's the important part he's captaincy material. Now, he is somebody who is been involved in 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 his in South Africa structures for years. You know, he's not new to, you know, SM the eighties, SM the twenties, the likes. He captured the junior screen box, did Sash Farmer Gomazulu. And uh he's obviously had a bit uh, of he's denied a lot of experience at a test rugby already this year where he's played in every single game the Springboks have played. So some of the other day was saying, oh we're not giving enough opportunity. I mean he basically played a full game against Ireland came off the bench against Wales for a good half, came off the bench against uh, Portugal for a good half an hour, and came off the bench against uh, Ireland against Loftus. So, you know, I think he's had over 200 minutes or close on 200 minutes of uh, of, of, of test rugby this year, which is a lot. Um, and speaking on how he's coped, he said, uh, you put him in at fullback when Billy got injured and we only lost a game by a drop goal and it was not because of the way he played. It is always nice to put a player in alongside a lot of experienced players. Uh, he said, we were all pleasantly surprised when we were down to 14 men with the Kanyo playing 12 and him playing 10 in the second half. Um, he said, Sasha next to the Kanyo at 12 was very interesting. One must recognize that's Portugal tier two in the team that played away from home, but he's a natural talent. None of us sitting here can argue about that. It's just about how he takes the next step and how he manages him and help him take the next step. So I think he's got a bright future. What's going to be interesting about Sasha Farmer Gomez Zulu is that the Springboks have never really, and the Rusty Rasmus, has never really gone with a backline play as a captain. The Kanye Amcaptain, I think it was the SAA side against uh, the British and Irish Lions. Um, you know, Hunter Pollard is supposedly the official vice captain, but almost is never the actual on-field captain. Um, so this presents a bit of a dilemma for Sasha Farmer Gomez Zulu, who, you know, if you ask him right now, you know, is captaining everything, he'll tell you no, playing for the Spring Mocks everything, but he knows that he'll be in the conversation. He wants to be the general, the leader of the Spring Mocks. He's kind of got that ambition. Uh, whether he will be, time will tell, because again, you know, this kind of management have always sort of favored a forwards captain because someone who's close to the referee by the rats, by the scrums. Um, so not to say that counts him out, but it will be interesting to see um, you know, will he become really the first sort of permanent uh, captain that is in the back line for, for a long time for the Springboks, you know, who um, we've had Warren Whiteley before, we've had Dwayne Vermeer, we've had Evan Ensemet captain recently, then see at least he became the captain sort of permanently, who's kind of is, is the latest sort of permanent captain for how many years. Uh, but yeah, during those sort of some of the captains we've seen under um, um, Rassi Rasmus, and we've generally never really seen on-field captains being in the back line. Mongi Manambi's done it, Dion Farid's done it, for example. Um, so it's going to be an interesting one. The main thing, I think, and this is the big uh, takeaway, if you are a Sash Van Gomez Zulu fan, he's going to play, I think, almost every game this year. And when Jamie Williams comes back, I mean, his life a bit more complicated. I think he's going to play every single game in the Rugby Championship. And I think we'll take him on the end of year two and give him one minute. So I think Sash Van Gomez Zulu is going to finish this year with 10 or 11 caps to his name. Um, I genuinely do. I think they rate him that highly, which is really, really exciting if you're a Springbok fan. Uh, in terms of captaincy, you know, I, I don't think we'll see it necessarily in the next year or two. Um, potentially, man, we've seen a Salmarat, for example, get the opportunity, so we might see him maybe captain, 
you know, in, in one or two years. But I think, you know, it's more so post-2027 where I think a leadership group of likes of Sash Farm and Gomez Zulu is going to come through. Dane Vinci is going to be very important moving forward. Um, Asal Murad, if he's still, if he's, if, if he managed to step up, I think he's going to become a very important player. Um, you know, players like that, you know, the young players who, who have been leaders at uh, at uh, at younger uh, sort of at, at this level, you know, you ruin Nokia's, for example, even an hour low, if you can sort of solidify a spot. So things are going to get interesting. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Is he going to be a future Springbok captain uh, or the Springbok captain? Uh, what do you think? Down in the comments below. Smash the like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.